Hey, welcome back to the channel, Getting It Done. Getting It Done Fishing. And today we're gonna get it done. I'm gonna do something a little, uh, a little bit different today, something uh, <clears throat> I thought it'd be pretty uh, fun to do. So I came across uh, this website. We had the 11 most famous fishermen of all time. And I said, who would you like to fish with? Now it's not necessarily bass fishing. There is a couple guys on there that are bass fishing. But you know, out of the 11, some people you may know and you may not know. If you know all 11, Drop a comment below. You know what? You, you deserve something. When I looked through the list, I was like, I don't even know half of these guys. But again, they're not all bass fishermen. Uh, but, it, you know, again, it's pretty interesting to go through it. And who, who would you like to fish with out of this list? So let's just go right through it. Uh, you got like people like Andy Miller, Joe Brooks. Uh, you know, hey, you do got Ray Scott in there, right? Ray Scott, uh, Bass Masters, right? Um, you know, David Moore. So we're gonna go through some of them, and and, and we're gonna go. I think there's a couple of names that, that should have been on there, uh, but again, you know, not with all these types of lists. You, you know, you only have, you know, you're always gonna say, hey, this person should have been on there, or this person should have been on there. But one person, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't, I don't really know, and you know, I don't think that person should be on there. But we'll go through it. And then I'm going to give you who, you know, if I could fish with any one of these people, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you who it would be. So, you know, first one, number 11, Andy Miller. Now, so if you don't know who Andy Miller is, I don't even know who Andy Miller is. If you don't know who Andy Miller is, uh, that, that doesn't surprise me because I don't even know who Andy Miller is. But, you know, I guess he won more fly fishing tournaments uh, than anybody else. I guess he was a uh, big, huge uh, saltwater guy to catch a lot of big fish. And I guess he has, um, you know, he was... Just big into fly fishing. Most of these guys on this list, kind of surprisingly, a lot of fly fishing. Um, a lot of guys that are, you know, like crushed it in the fly fishing world. Uh, so that's that's number 11. So we're just going to go straight through. I can kind of give you a, a little bit of, uh, of I guess, what they're famous for on each one. So you got next one on the list is Joe Brooks. And I'll drop on a comment, um, 1 through 11. So you got Joe Brooks. And again, if you don't know who Joe Brooks is, again, he's another fly fisherman. You know, and he, uh, he termed sportsman. And he's the guy that actually came up with the name Sportsman, and, and that's, uh, that's who he is. But I guess, you know, again, he was big fly fishing. You know, again, back in the day, fly fishing was it, right? I mean, if you were going to go fishing, you go fly fishing. I think I still have a, a rod from my grandpa. It's probably over 80, 90 years old that, you know, it's a big fly fishing and has the reel and stuff like that. But I never got into fly fishing, but most of these guys on here are fly fishing. Um, so again, he did, he did coin or he did come up with the phrase sportsman. So that's pretty cool. That's probably why he's on the list as that's number 10. All right, let's get to number nine, Michael Lerner. So, you know, again, you know, so this guy is a, again, it's a lot of these guys, especially on the, like on the, on the, on the top of the list. He came out with an international game fishing association. So he's the founder. Um, so he came up with that. Yeah. You know, again, he done a bunch of studies, a bunch of research. He, he's a big research guy. You know, he supposedly he came up with a biologist and biologist, but came up with patterns and how fish move and, and all these different studies. All right, so we're going to number number eight, Ray Scott. Or we don't really need to talk about Ray Scott. Ray Scott is the man, right? Ray Scott is is who he is, B A S S, right? So he, he you know he turned he turned fishing really into what it is today as far as a sport, right? That's Ray Scott, right? He turned in bass fishing into a sport, and I used to watch a. I watched a lot of videos on him and, and you know, how bass and the tournaments and all that type of stuff. So it's pretty interesting stuff. Again, I'm not going to bore you with all that type of stuff, but as Ray Scott is number eight. And that's, uh, you know, it's a good pick if you ever want to, if you had one guy to go fish with, it might be Ray Scott, especially if you're a bass fisherman, a bass fisherman. This guy, David Moore. I don't know, have you ever heard of David Moore? Yeah, you know, he's a, you know, he was, he was included in the top 20 uh, best anglers on the planet. So, you know, again, this guy just crushes it all over the place. Again, it's all different types of species, you know, carp, I guess that's what he's really big for. Um, you know, he's big all over the place in France and carp. You know, you go back to England and England's a lot of that carp fishing. So, uh, that's him. Now uh, let's go. Kurt Gowdy. Kurt Gowdy. So I, I guess he was the, you know, to the International Hall of Fame in 1981. Um, but I guess he was a, you know, a, a big voice in the sport as the announcer. All right, we're going to go on to just number five. And then we'll, we'll, get, we'll get down to the number, the, the top ones. John Wilson. Again, it seems like a big carp guy. Best known for angles throughout Europe. You know, again, we're talking about fish, we're talking about bass guys. But this is, you know, you know he's a big uh, carp guy. Uh, you, know, you know, he's another guy that uh, went into the uh, International Hall of Fame. He coined the word uh, or had the fishing show, Go Fishing. Uh, so, you know, you know, and they also have him as in UK as the greatest fisherman of all time. So they actually in Europe have him as number one. All right, number four, this is where I kind of start to get like 
A lot of these guys I don't know. But when I start getting in the top four, you know, from, from my standpoint, you know, they got Mike Iaconelli. And, and you know, I, I like Mike. You know, I think he's, he's, he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, as far as I could tell from watching his YouTube channel and just watching him fish. I remember he was on Major League Fishing. I used to watch on the lives. Uh, pretty funny guy, pretty good guy. I mean, I, I watch his YouTube channel and stuff like that. But as number four, I, I don't I don't know, really understand that. You know, I, I did go through the description of why they put him on there. Um, you know, a lot of stuff with Bassmasters. Uh, again, I don't really quite understand that. Um, but hey, you know, it is what it is. So he's on there as number four. I'm sticking with the list, and, and the list is number four. Again, I'm no offense against Mike. I like Mike. You know, again, he seems like a pretty good guy. All right, so number three. So here we come with number three, two, and one. And here we go. Zane Gray. You know, Zane Gray. So this guy has had, at one point or another, held 12 world records of fishing. And I think he actually caught the biggest saltwater fish on a reel. I think that's his, I think that, that is his claim to fame is the world records at catching big fish out in the ocean. I think that's his claim. To, I know that's his claim to fame. Um, yes, I'm just looking through it. Outdoors Magazine. Yeah, Hall of Fame. Yeah, he's, you know, over a dozen world records. And I think they credit him for uh, the biggest fish. First fish. Oh, yeah, here we go. He was a first fisherman to drag in around a 471 kilograms Pacific blue marlin. And I guess that was a world record, and I guess that was a huge, huge task. But again, this guy's old, so you know they don't have the equipment like they do now. And you know it's a lot of reeling. It took him like ten hours to get it in. Yes, sir. All right, so you know I'm going to top top two, and you know again, this does not surprise me uh, on the top two. Roland Martin. Again, I don't think we really need to bring in Roland Martin or talk a lot about Roland Martin. Roland Martin is who he is. He's a legend. Um, you know, again, Hall of Fame. You know, TV show. Uh, what he did for sports, uh, you know, sports fishing and, and everything like that. His TV show. He has 19 tour uh, wins. You know, he has over 100 top uh, 10 finishes and 22nd, uh, 22nd place finishes. So the guy's a legend, right? I mean, the guy's a legend. Nine times as a bass angler of the year. So, you know, Roland Martin is a man. So as far as bass fishing goes, you know, Roland Martin is probably on the, on the top tier. You know, again... I'll go through the last one, but you know, we don't really need to talk about Roland. Roland's the man. You know, again, if you ever watch the TV show, you know, he's a pretty funny guy. Um, you know, again, obviously all these all these acculents that he got, you know, 100 top 10 finishes, that's, that's pretty impressive. All right, so number one, Ernest Hemingway. You know, again, if you can read about Ernest Hemingway, if you don't know who Ernest Hemingway is, uh, you know, he wrote a bunch of books, um, you know, but again, he was up in Canada. He loved to, uh, he loved to fish, loved sports fishing. Uh, you know, again, he just did a lot of stories about fishing. He was a big, you know, proponent of fishing. So Ernest Hemingway is probably the most famous and best angler that that, that you know of. And, and again, I guess he was an advocate of it. He fished a ton of it. Again, a lot of these guys are out here. You know, there wasn't really these tournaments that they are now in a hundred thousand dollar paychecks like they like they are now. But Ernest Hemingway is number one. Um, so you know, again, we should all know who Ernest Hemingway is. You know, again, he's like, he won a Nobel Peace Prize. It's just a ton of different things. But again, his passion was for fishing and fishing all different types of species. So as I sit at the list and I go through and say, who would I want to fish with? Well, there's one person I, I believe should, should have been on here that's not on here. And that's Kevin Van Dam. If you put Mike Iaconelli on there, you should have put Kevin Van Dam on there. You know, I, I personally believe in the modern day as we sit today, I think Kevin Van Dam is the goat. Um, you know, again, Roland Martin. You know, again, I, I got to give him his props, and, and his stats are, are unbelievable, just unbelievable. But, you know, again, I think it's a little bit of a different time and era of fishing. Um, and as we go through and even to the next phase of fishing, you know, right now it's probably Jacob Wheeler. If he continues on his, on his, on his path, he'll probably be, you know, the modern-day technology and, you know, sonars and all that type of stuff would probably be Jacob Wheeler. But I think Kevin Van Dam deserved to be on this list. I think he should have been on this list. And you know what, but he's not. And again, with all these types of lists, you know, you're always gonna say one or two people should have been on or, or, or why that person on and out versus the other. But that's my only one that I think should have been on there is Kevin Van Dam. He's not, but if I had to pick one person to fish on here, if I had to say, hey, if I could fish with this one person, you know, it would be, for me, it's a no brainer. Um, it's, it's Roland Martin, it's Roland Martin. 
Yeah, if I could hang out with him for a day, I, I think he'd, he'd probably teach me a lot. I'd probably learn a lot, and I'd probably just have a good time. You know, just have a, a good time fishing with Roland Martin. Who wouldn't want to fish with Roland Martin? I mean, come on, let's be honest. Like, who would not want to fish with Roland Martin? You know, out of all these other guys, if you go back in time and fish with Ernest Hemingway, it would be, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Just because, obviously, the things that he accomplished in his life, um, especially if you were able to fish um, a lot of things after, after he made those accomplishments, uh, would be pretty cool. Um, you know, again, Mike Iconelli, seemed like, but again, I, I don't really understand how, how Mike's on there. But, you know, there, there's a, there's, who else was on here? Ray Scott. Again, that's the other one, Ray Scott. You know, again, it would be pretty fun to fish with Ray Scott um, back in the day and kind of talk about the tournaments and, and, you know, how he created the tournaments. And, again, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, so, for me, it's Roland Martin. It's a no-brainer. That's who I would want to fish with if I ever had a chance to fish with any of these guys. And, again, this is 11. Again, I found this on the website, just looking around, searching around. It's the top 11 fishermen of, of all time. And again, it's not necessarily uh, bass fishing, it's just all time. Well, who would you who would you like to fish with? Comment below. Tell me if you think somebody should have been on a list that, that you don't think uh, is on the list. Or, you know, again, if you know all 11, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. I mean, you definitely know you're fishing. Um, again, I, I probably only knew maybe half of them. Uh, you know, me, Roland Martin, Ray Scott, uh, obviously Ernest Hemingway. Um, it's pretty much about it. A lot of those guys are a couple of those guys are in Europe and then, you know, saltwater guys and fly fishing guys. So, all right, drop a comment by, uh, down below. Who would you like to fish with out of the list? And uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's kind of something fun, something a little bit different. I uh, kind of break, break, break up the uh, monotony of just always talking about bass fishing and lures and all this type of stuff. You know, the stuff I really love to talk about. But kind of just breaking it up a little bit. Throwing a little bit of fun. So, all right, drop a comment below. Greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification. All right, catch you later.